Hello everybody and welcome to season two. It's been a whole three months since me and my sister started the show and I'd really like to thank each and every one of our wonderful viewers for liking and commenting. I've had a really interesting conversation with some of you in the comments and I hope that we can continue that through season two. Regretfully, my sister will not be joining us regularly anymore, but it's not all bad news. She's decided to take this time to write some skits for our channel, which I'm sure we will all look forward to watching. So without further ado, I guess it's time for season two. <laughs> December's flower is the poisetta, and its gem is turquoise. December is reading new book month, and if you want us to know some great new books to read, check out Geek and Sundry show Sword and Laser. They talk about sword books, that being sci-fi books, and laser books, that being fantasy books. And since I'm trying out a new format and a newly made studio, and um, the script writing has taken a swift revision, um, I think I will try to give you some of my book reviews. For sci-fi, I think the best sci-fi book I've read for a very long time is Cory Doctorow's Little Brother. This book got me so emotionally involved that I had to take breaks from reading it to simmer down. And for fantasy, if you've never read Redwall or its many successors, I'm afraid your childhood might have been lacking. However, I've recently reread some of them, and they're just as good now as when I first read them when I was seven. Even better, because you get to pick up on a lot of the uh, the back and forth between the characters that you thought was just talking, but it's not. There's deeper meaning, and I can appreciate it a lot more than now that I'm older. The first week of December is also a hand-washing week, and while I hope this is something we all do regularly, I don't think it'd be too bad for us to step up our sanitation standards for a month. The first week of December is also cookie-cutter week, and looking into this, I found it is a surprisingly large hobby. News to me. There is in fact a cookie cutter museum. Cookie cutter week was started by Paula Mullins in Kentucky in the mid-90s. Every year she'd make a new cookie cutter for her group. Our first date for December is December the 4th, and it's actually cookie day. So I want to hit two birds with one cookie, maybe. No, forget about puns, Adrian. You're very bad at them. And um, celebrate both of them at the same time by making, baking, and eating a cookie. Who are we kidding? We don't eat a cookie. We eat lots of cookies because it's delicious. Now, December 5th is um, bathtub day. I only tell you about the dates. I don't come up with them. But I suppose if you care to, you might have yourself a bubble bath with some suds of bubbles. December 6th is gazpacho day. Gazpacho is a cold Mexican tomato and vegetable based soup that I have never had. I'm not a big fan of pureed cold tomatoes. I don't really like the V8 juice, though their V8 V fusion that has the delicious fruit in it is really good. Why am I saying this? They're not sponsoring me. I shouldn't say it. Well, I'm usually not a big fan of pureed cold tomatoes and vegetables. I just might try it on the 6th. And if I do, it'll be right here on the next episode of Geek Street Journal. And that is it. Please tell me what did you think of last season Cool comments, of course, will be featured next week. What do you think of this new set? I think it's, um, I like it quite a lot. I mean, it's cool. I'm here, and then there's like all these nerdy posters behind me, and there's a bookshelf, and Draco, my dragon. Wait, no, that's not Draco. Draco is the purple one. This was, um, oh, what was your name? What is your name, dragon? Roddy Booty Booty Booty. No, his name is not Roddy Booty Booty Booty. It's, um, oh, it was, was it Thelonious? Thelonious? It was a Grecian sounding name. Uh, I've gotten off track. I'm sorry. Until then, see you guys next week on Geek Seat Journal. Bye!